Hi everybody, this is Sean Heideman. I'm the designated broker and owner for Position Realty. Today I am uh, doing a video uh, specifically geared to towards people that are, are renting. Um, it's definitely uh, advantageous if you're in a position to be able to buy a home as opposed to just renting. Uh, when you're renting, you are uh, just paying your landlord's uh, mortgage and uh, the payments that you make, uh, you don't ever get any of that money back. So if you're in a position, you have a nice down payment, uh, your credit score is decent, and um, you've been with uh, your current employment for at least two years, um, now is, a, is still a good time to buy. Um, so let's get started with the presentation here. So the median closing uh, rental rate in the Phoenix market is $2,250 per month. So that's currently what the median, uh, about most pe what most people are currently paying. So I put together this spreadsheet here um, and I tried to get the PMI as close to the medium as possible. So um, with $400,000 purchase price, that, that's, a, that's a decent purchase price. Uh, you can get a decent home for that. Um, and with 10% down, uh, you're the 360 payments or 30 years at 6.45%. Your payment would be $2,263.62, uh, which is close to the median. So on this side here, I show um, total payments that you pay in interest in the first year, principal payments, first year, year, uh, year five. And then uh, over here is your amortization schedule. This shows your, uh, your payment broken out, interest, principal, and then your balance uh, as you pay down the, uh, the mortgage. So it goes all the way down to 360 payments on the bottom there. And I have another uh, video that I um, that I did um, that shows if you pay a little bit additional towards your principal, you can pay down the uh, the principal a lot quicker and you pay less interest over time. If you're interested in watching that video, it's um, it's it's in my my video channel. Um, but let's uh, let's get to the calculations over here. So um, <clears throat> most people are paying renter's insurance, so this expense is kind of similar to what you're paying. You're going to wind up paying taxes for the property, and then you're going to be paying PMI, which if you have 20% uh, or less down of a down payment, you'd be paying uh, the private mortgage insurance uh, on the mortgage. So your total payment would be $2,753.62. It's a little bit more than the median, but you're also a homeowner, um, and as I'm going to show you, you're going to get uh, uh, a lot of that money back as, as far as tax deductions. So let's say um, the first five years, there's no appreciation at all in the market, and um, you just pay down the principal. So after five years, by paying down the principal, you would have $63,194.96. This also includes your down payment of um, $40,000. So then this uh, here, let's say that the home appreciated at the national average, which is 4%. So the appreciation, uh, this shows the total value of the home. This shows the amount of additional equity you'd have in the home, and this is your return on investment. So the total appreciation after five years would be $86,661. Your return on investment with that would be 116.7%. And then um, if you also include your principal down payment, you would have a return of 37.1%. So let's uh, bounce down here real quick. So the uh, mortgage interest rate deduction. So the IRS allows you to deduct uh, from your taxes, uh, from your taxable income, uh, the interest that you pay on your mortgage. So within the first year, you could deduct $23,101 from your taxes, second year, $22,831, and then the third year is $22,543. Um, so if you are in making, let's say, $80,000 or $100,000, um, you could deduct um, that from your total income, and you'd pay less in taxes, and then you, you would get uh, this additional amount that you're overpaying on the, on the median. Uh, back through the, the taxes that you're paying. So uh, let's say that um, at the end of five years, um, 
mortgage rates decreased. So let's change this to 5.5%. <clears throat> so that would decrease your, your payment, your principal and interest payment by $219.58. And uh, with the appreciation, let's say that you have 20% in equity in the home now, so then your PMI would drop off. So that's a total savings of $418.58 um, in savings that um, that you would have by refinancing the mortgage, and then your your payment would be so much less. So if this one would be two forty four four, and then you're not paying PMI, so then your total payment would be a lot closer to the median price um, with the refinance. But that's the presentation. Um, hopefully, this uh, shows you that there is a benefit of owning a home as opposed to renting. If you're in the position, please reach out to me. I can definitely help you um, find the find the perfect home for you and your family. Um, if you want to contact me, my contact information is below, as well as my website and all my social media. And please don't forget to subscribe to my channel below by hitting the subscription button. Thank you for watching. Please stay tuned for the next video.